All right, so in the last video, what we did is we found the inverse of the exponential graph just by uh, switching the, the points that we had. Now what we're gonna do is algebraically find the inverse of two to the x power. These are the same steps that we used previously, so if you need to review finding the inverse of a, of a function, go back up to uh, our previous section where we, we did this with a couple of lines and a, a square root. So what we're gonna do, step number one, is we change the notation. I changed this to y is equal to two to the x. Now here is the inverse step. So this is the actual inverse right here. Remember finding the inverse means I flip the x and the y value. So here it is, x is equal to two to the y. This is the inverse. This is the equation of the graph that we created in the previous video. Here's the problem. And this is what requires the, a big definition for us is we don't like to have functions where I, I'm, it's not solved for y. Remember, the next step in this is to solve for y, but I do not have any uh, way to do this. So here is the definition. This is the big key definition. I'm gonna rewrite this in general in just a minute, but this is our definition uh, for this section. This is the big deal. The equivalent way to say this so that it is solved for y is this, that y equals this thing what, that we call a logarithm. I'm going to abbreviate it L-O-G. That's logarithm base two of my X value. So these two statements here mean the exact same thing, but the value of this statement is now is it, it is solved for Y. And this is what's called a logarithm. I'm going to rewrite the definition in just a minute, but notice my terminology. First off, the logarithm, the log base 2 of x, the logarithm is always equal to a power. Make a note for yourself, because when we're when we are using the definition in a moment, the logarithm always equals the power. This number right here, this 2, that's called the base, just like it is in the exponential statement. And then x is the thing that's left over. The last step to actually finding the inverse, remember, is notational. So the inverse is log base 2 of x. So we have found the inverse. So that, it, that leads to this big definition right here. We are gonna get familiar with how to use this definition in the next few videos. It goes like this. The inverse of our exponential, a to the y power equals x. This is the inverse of the exponential. Notice my X and my Y are flipped. This is the exact same thing as saying the following, that the log base A, notice the base of X is equal to the power, which is Y. This is the definition of the logarithm. This is what you need to get used to using.